shall reflect on the life of St. Frederick. When young, St. Frederick was trained in piety and sacred learning among the clergy of the church at Utrecht, Holland. After he was ordained priest, he was given the charge of instructing the converts by Bishop Richfred. About the year 825, he was chosen to succeed Richfred to the see of Utrecht. The new bishop at once began to establish order everywhere and sent St. Udolf and other zealous laborers into the northern parts to dispel the paganism that still flourished there. According to tradition, Frederick became involved in the difficulties between the sons of the emperor, Louis the Debonair, and their father and stepmother. He also fell out of favor with the empress, whom he had taken the opportunity to admonish, though charitably, to turn to a life of morality. The inhabitants of Velachen were barbarous and most averse to the gospel, so he took upon himself the duty of teaching and evangelizing them. According to tradition, on the 18th of July, 838, after he had celebrated Mass and was about to make his thanksgiving, he was stabbed by two assassins. He died saying with the psalmist, I will praise the Lord in the land of the living.